Hello again, everyone. Welcome back to Athea the Awakening. Uh, we spotted some slavers over here, but uh, we want to go visit this place to see first. So let's go. Oh, right. No, I have to end the uh, turn. Also, manage supplies. Let's go ahead and uh, start eating that. And we'll start eating that. Let's go ahead and do so. The whole land is shaken with tremors. Right, let's try to hold the on to something. Wild groans of ah, nothing bad happened. All right. You hear a strange commotion oh. coming from the nearby bushes. A sort Ooh. of cross between a squeak and a deep grumble of a salivating dog. As you approach, you see a weird-looking brown ball of disheveled fur with big yellow eyes staring back at you. The creature is no bigger than a fox and has bat-like wings, a snarly smile with a range of sharp teeth, and it smells badly. It is apparently stuck in some hunter's trap. You recognize the trap to be orc-made. Leave the creature be. There may be orcs about, and they may not like you poaching their prey. Kill the creature. If orcs hunt it, maybe it is good for something. Let's examine it further. After a closer examination, you realize this may be a skshak, a relatively harmless house demon who usually settles inside a household, and, if treated right, brings good fortune to its housemates. Well, let's go ahead and release it then. You approach the trap carefully and gently dismantle it. Right, I'm gonna let you go, little fella. Just don't go all monstrous on us now, okay? The creature nods frantically, still squealing from the trap digging into its little body. You release the shack, and as you do so, it tries to hobble away from you. After a few steps, it stops, looks up, and squeaks before speaking up. Are you going to eat me? Yeah, you look tasty. No, of course not. Oh, I am thanking you. I speak your speech not well, but I try to tell you. Weak is my body. I smile as I join Mokosh in the dirt soon in peacefulness. Thanking you, friends. Your tongue calls me Skshak and House Demon. Funny names. And so I am both and none. But I tell you now of a house, because you friends, and good, and I warn you. Once there was a house, and there was joy and laughter. Once it was a place of magics and yummy foods. Mm, I like then yummy the foods. darkened time came, and no longer a demon I was, no longer helped my mistress. I cried as my eyes looked on her evil. No longer my lady, no more joy, all sad and angry and dead. But not gone, or alive, but not living. I tell you the house, because you helped me from the nasty trap, you good people. So please help my mistress now. Free her from her trap, and she may be dirt with me and stop her bad, bad madness. The creature falls onto the ground, clutching its stomach in pain. And before your very eyes, it begins to disintegrate into dirt. With its last breath, it goes on. Beware, friends. She eats. She's crazy. Got treasures. Set her free. The shack is gone, and all that is left is a scrap of paper with a badly drawn map on it. Well, let's go ahead and take the map. Four XP, one research point. And good news, it's on the way to uh, home. Got some mushrooms. But let's go to the place to see. Uh, although first, I just noticed that uh, we need to eat some more foods. Go ahead and eat that one. All right, place to see. You find the thatched cottages, and just as your scout said, the little settlement is long abandoned. Instead of people, a nest of giant spiders has taken residence there. Let's come up with a tactical plan of action. Go ahead and begin combat. It should be fairly easy. I don't have any other uh, first strikes. We'll get everyone down and see what I can do. Hey! Rude. Just for that, I'm going to confuse you guys. And then get everyone closer. <laughs> it's an easy one. 
All right, everyone, gang up on the tactics cha challenge cards. <laughs> oh, I like being overkill. Spider webs spread throughout Ooh. this area. You plan a diversion to draw out the main body of the spiders. A small team can sneak in and steal as much as they can before the nest realizes anything. Or you can attack the small group of spiders left. And Jasmine gets uh, two tactics. Uh, the first tactics uh, for her. Uh, let's attack the weakened spiders. I uh, will just auto resolve. You that. have defeated the spiders. You find many good building materials from the cottages and a good amount of fresh spider silk as well. I've right, got a fur jacket, 12 armor, 3 dexterity. Uh, the clay is going to be heavy. We'll take the stuff. Plus 3 XP, plus 1 research. And, yep, as I expected, we're overloaded. Alright, first of all, um... Didn't end up with any... Bone. Alright, so let's, uh, let's take a look at the equipment. This is very heavy. This is very heavy. I want to keep that one. Uh, we'll get rid of this one. We've got three of these. Let's go ahead and dismantle all of them. We, uh, we have other shields. Alright, dismantle those. Destroy that. Take that stuff. Okay, we're not quite overloaded, but uh, let's go ahead and get rid of ten of these. Don't need all of that. I suppose with all of this dark wood, I could always destroy this and just burn dark wood on the way back. Yeah, the iron is, is really weighing us down, though. But that has helped. Let's go take care of the spider's nest. Ooh, good quality. I kind of want to keep that. It's only 90. Take the loot and continue. Three and two. All right. You travel along the beaten path, through the dried up plains that remain a constant reminder of Thea's sad fate. From a distance, your scouts spot a small campfire, and report that there is a lonesome old man sitting there. The scouts have confirmed that there are no other creatures to be seen, nor does the old man hold any visible weapons. In fact, they report only a small bundle and a stick. Old fella sitting on his lonesome, yeah, avoid the campfire, or... It stinks of trouble, sure, but what the hell? Approach the campfire. I, I'm i confident. You approach the campfire, and the old man is just as the scouts reported. Old, ragged, with none else than a small bundle and a walking stick. He is, in fact, lying by the fire, and clearly very weak. He looks at you, scared, and holds out his arms. Please don't hurt me. I have nothing worth your ire. You can search my luggage, and you'll find naught more than some water and stale bread. If you want it, it is yours. A glance at the bundle confirms that it could hold little more. Uh, we don't want your stuff anyway. What is an old man doing on his own out here anyway? You examine the man and find no physical wounds, but it is clear he is dying, probably just from old age. The old man smiles and bows his head. Thank you. It is not often you see kindness these days. My story is nothing if not predictable. I had people. They died. I did not, and so I have been walking Thea alone. Looking for ways to live. I'm too old to settle in a new place. In fact, I have sat here waiting for death to take me. So you see, you truly have nothing to take from me. But because you were kind, here, have this map. It may lead you to some treasures that are beyond my grasp. With his last words, the old man falls quiet and closes his eyes. His breath becomes shallow, and you think his time has come. 
You see that the man is indeed dying, or at least very ill. You sit with him till the end, then leave. Among a lot of useless rubbish, you discover a few gems and a map with a location marked upon it. It's not too far from here. Alright, we've got some uh, herbs and some seaweed and some topaz. Go ahead and leave. 2 XP. Place of interest. Why would it have to be back up that way? Alright, well, in the woodcutters, X Gemini has plus one animal kinship for eight. Uh, Zlato has plus two tactics for 13. Uh, Tribane has plus one traps for three. Orin has plus one health for 21. Ashley, plus one health for 27. Uh, Eagle Claw, plus two leech for five. Uh, Lao, plus one tactics for... One. Okay. Uh, plus one health for Crescens, 19. Uh, plus one divination for Cast Iron Dude. It's probably going to be one. Yep. Uh, plus one will for Rose Chan to 16, plus one will for Lysane to 22, plus one will for Kijikun to 25, plus two adrenaline boost for Kilkakan. Is that? Yep, that's just two. Uh, plus one folklore for Elevi, six. Plus one stealth for Adrian to four. Very nice. Plus one gathering for Jasmine to 17. All right. And back at uh, Hamtopia, plus one strength for Ritter. You know, I didn't get any strength out of that, the, the Wandering Group. That's a little disappointing. 26 strength for Ritterin. Uh, plus two health for Kettle, to 27. Plus one dexterity for Nal, to nine. Uh, plus one perception for Sidet, to just one. All right. Uh, plus one craft for gold, to eight. Plus one gathering for Borak, to 11. Plus two strength for Zappa for 22. Plus one curse for Jekrika. Hey, all right. The oh, no, no, actually, you're not the one that has the curse sword equipped. All right, one curse. Don't know how that works. Uh, plus two craft for Phoenix for nine. And plus one gathering for a new person, Sularad, who has decided to join us. Uh, two strength, 11 will, six speech, Six Intelligence, four Medic, one Stealth, one Herbalism, one Gathering, two Craft, three Shielding, eight Armor, and two Damage. Um, you know... I gave you the Curse Sword, didn't I? Yeah. And you have the Magic Sword. you the magic one, and you the curse one, and our new person shall be known as Ace. Welcome to the uh, village. Alright, so you can't hold very much right now, so I need to give you some very light stuff. Uh, this Stormcloud Staff, uh, 7 damage piercing, it's bad quality, but one, plus 1 perception, plus 1 dexterity is kind of nice. So yeah, let's go ahead and do that. Uh, now you need some very light armor. Give you the quilted cloth here. And that's going to be it until we get people back. Alright, production-wise... So you do have one gathering. I guess I can have you gathering vegetables. Nah. Let's have you gathering wood. Alright, let's see. There we go. Take that stuff back.
All right, what else? What do we have? <clears throat> uh, I could make some amethyst swords. I don't have a whole lot of uh, iron left. What uh, what would we get? What would we, would we get out of uh, this? Uh, three five, only three research points. What if I used the amber? That would be four research points. It's not a lot, but it's better than nothing. Just helping us to get more, uh, more research. I think that's good. All right. How many can we make? I don't think we need the quartz. Oh, that would be all of our amber. So there we go. Already took care of uh, Ace here. Got some wicker. Uh, let's do the spider's nest first. Take care of that. Mm, don't really care about the Bramblewood Club. Oh, I didn't actually take care of that. Whoops. And we need to manage our supplies again. Let's eat the bird meat and we'll eat the grain. Take care of that. Don't really care about that one. That one we'll keep. Plus three, plus two. And into the house we go. Following the instructions laid out by the shack, you find an old worker's hut, hidden away from prying eyes by a strange, unnatural mist. The air around this place is thick and cold, and yet the mist smells of ginger and honey. The more you look at the house, the more alluring it becomes. Let's go ahead and enter the house. Within the house, you hear the faint laughter of children, followed by sporadic sobs and even screams. You enter into the main chamber and see a large furnace still burning hot, despite there being no signs of smoke outside. There is a tall stack of old rugs lying by the furnace and nothing else. You hear a crying child as if it were sitting inside the flames. Ooh. Nah, creepy. Just leave. Let's approach carefully. Before you stands a tall, ragged woman with wild eyes and a crooked grin on her face. She wears a torn-up dress, sadly revealing her dried-up long breasts. She has long, sharp nails, and her hair is wildly disheveled. Perhaps she was once a young, even a pretty woman, but the form that stands before you now is worn down by forces beyond nature. She stretches out her hands before you. My children, have you come back to me? Attack the vile creature! Who are you, a lost soul or a meddler of the dark arts? Speak now before we burn you in your own furnace, woman. You feel strong magic from the woman. Take time to consider your options. Although you have heard the tales of a Baba Yaga, an evil witch hell-bent on killing children, you have heard from the wise ones that this poor creature is most likely trapped in her own body, dead but unable to die. Let's try to remember more. She was once a mother who lost her children to a sudden, brutal death, forced to watch helplessly as her kin perished in torment. Her soul died along with her children, yet her body did not, thus leaving a creature tormented from within, driven to utter madness and despair. Some of these poor women indeed become the witches from the tales. In their madness, they seek out children and try to care for them, only to realize that death is their sole gift. This drives them ever deeper into the depths of insanity. Let's do the ritual. Perhaps we can free her. You know how to protect yourself from the witch's curse, but killing her is still not an easy feat. If you strike down the witch with mortal weaponry, she will be banished for a time, but not dead. The only way to truly defeat Baba Yaga is to fight the very curse that befell her. But only those with magic can do that. Run away! Banish the witch! A four skull hex challenge. Let's try it. Fight the curse. Luckily, you have among you those who can weave the winds of magic. And so, they prepare for the grueling ritual of cleansing. Alright. Fight the hex. Let's begin combat. 
Seven hex cards. We do have some pretty powerful uh, people. I'm going to reshuffle because I really want you up there. And we did get you. Fortunately, that put LV back here, but we'll see what we can do. Let's go ahead and uh, keep in play. I get to go first. Counter offense. Um... Counter offense. All right. Well, I can get Eagle Claw in there ahead just to do a little bit of damage. Didn't do anything because uh, one divided by two is 0.5 rounds down to zero, but at least you're in first. Um. get you in. You've got some shielding. I could shield you or I could support you. I'm not going to be able to do uh, first action on anyone. Let's go ahead and... Ah, oh, you do so much damage. It's counter tactics, though. Okay, we don't really have a whole lot else that we can do. Um, so you'd end up doing two damage. You'd end up doing three damage, uh, assuming that they're not w wounded. Uh, Cast Iron Dude, I think that we're going to get you in first, because next, because uh, you'll do a lot of damage, so will you. Dang it. Rude. Let's get you in and let's shield you. Let's support you so you do a little bit of extra damage. Shield you. Shield you. And just get everyone else in. Alright. They do a lot of damage, but we'll get some extra damage out of uh, some of our people at least. Not a lot from either of you, unfortunately. Alright, we're still going to have to deal with some of those cards after this. But, this is a lot better. Alright, let's go. Okay, um... Let's get Cast Iron down... Uh, Cast Iron Dude down first, and... Then LV. Okay. Let's counter offense. Let's counter tactics. Actually, I should have counter offensed with you. Let's shield. Let's just do that. All right. I think we should take out both those cards this time. Yep. There we go. We have one. You break the evil curse that tarnished the soul of Baba Yaga. Let's see what happens now. For a second, a young woman appears before you, dressed in her wedding garb and pregnant. She smiles, then turns back into an older woman, but this time she seems more human. Thank you, my children. You have rescued my soul. Now I am yours to command. Will you accept my service? Hell yeah. You agree, despite certain reservations. As a sign of goodwill, the Baba Yaga also frees some children she had stashed. 
Freeze some children she had stashed. So we got one child, and we got a Baba Yaga, 15 strength, which is going to help. Uh, let's see, you are also a demon. 15 will, 6 magic, 9 speech, 6 intelligence, 6 curse, 3 folklore, 5 herbalism, 2 perception, 4 attractiveness, 4 traps, 1 leech, 7 shielding, 2 animal kinship, 1 gathering, 1 backstab, 21 damage, pardon me, and 18 armor. We also got a uh, living sword with 6 damage, 6 shielding, 2 attractiveness, and 2 will. And some other goodies. Nice. Plus 6, plus 2. Alright. Alright, so. Um, Baba Yaga. Let's go into the equipment. Uh, you were wielding that. Alright. Let's see. With uh, that strength, you can definitely carry something like this. Let's give you the shield. That's uh, some extra folklore for you. That's going to be some extra gathering. I like how this good quality one is actually heavier than the uh, non-good quality one, but whatever, you can use that. go. Okay, uh, so you will not be Baba Yaga, you will be... Let's look through my list. Uh, you can be Grave Splendor. We go. All right. Make a note. There we go. All right. All right. So we got uh, you equipped. We can actually carry quite a bit more now. So that's very helpful. Uh, three grain, back at, uh, camp, and let's go take care of you. Hunt, hunt, auto-resolve. Uh, I got an iron mask. You can hide unwanted twins in it, or just wear it to look cooler. Meat roast, and a spider silk. And we can't move. Alright, so I do want to go visit these two places. I might actually visit the Undead Army Lair, and then see if we can finally get back, because we don't actually have that many turns left of food. And I am a little bit concerned about that. But we'll see how it goes. We have another point of research. Uh, I could spend it on something here. I could get some more crafting stuff, or I could get some more gathering stuff. Uh, I think we want Nimblewood. Because that's here. And I might try to get some. Might even trash some, like, less, you know, lower quality uh, goods in order to get some of that. Might be worthwhile. And we got some meat. All right. Uh, but when we come back next time, we will go visit the, uh, the slavers, the place of interest, maybe the undead army lair, and then see about working our way back. Like I said, I'm a little bit worried about the amount of food that we have. Um, there is some food that we're not eating, though, so that will help. I mean, we got all of that stuff, so. Anyway, uh, for now, we'll call it an episode. See you next time, everyone.